Hi, I'm Nate from Design Squad, and this is my son Calvin. Calvin loves to dig and play with dirt. Today. The trouble is, he gets really dirty. So I think I've identified a need here. We could build you an outdoor sink so that you can get clean before you come back inside. The sink is going to be a recycled plastic bin. I've got an old faucet from a friend who wasn't using it anymore. This is the wood that I got from taking apart a couple of old shipping pallets. So it's kind of nice, instead of throwing it into the trash, take them apart and use the wood for something else. All around the world, especially places where resources are scarce, a little bit of creativity and some engineering knowledge can help you make best use of the materials available. So by reducing the materials you're using and repurposing, recycling things, you can accomplish great new things. Do you know why this screw head is purple? This screw was probably used on season two of Design Squad. I'm reusing things from Design Squad. Awesome. All right, I got the top platform. Nice. I'm gonna draw an X in the middle. Boom. X marks the spot. This is the center, no matter how wide this is. Perfect fit! The next step is to add the legs that hold up the sink. But I need to know how tall to make the legs. Calvin, will you stand and see if you can reach the sink? I put a couple of raisins in the sink so Calvin would reach into it and I could estimate if it's at the right height or not. It was actually a little bit of a hard reach, so I'm going to put it down a little bit lower than I might have. Will you see if you can reach this raisin? Sweet. Okay, this height looks good, so I'm just gonna make a mark. Now, in building this sink setup for Calvin, I'm really not inventing anything new here. The general approach for how to build a sink and attach a faucet is really well established, but then I'm making my own modifications to suit the specific needs of Calvin and to make best use of the materials that I have available. I forgot something important. I have to drill a hole in the basement so the water can get out. <laughs> well, the plastic's kind of brittle, and I certainly could have done a better job supporting the plastic from underneath, maybe with a piece of wood. So I think I'm gonna try to repair the bottom a little bit, and I think it'll still work fine. So I've got this bucket. By pouring water into the bucket and holding the bucket up higher than Calvin's sink, Gravity will provide the pressure that makes the water feed through the faucet. You've probably seen a water tower before sticking up high above a city. This is a miniature version of that, where I can catch rainwater or fill it up with a hose and let gravity do the work of making Calvin's outdoor sink work. Wait a second. There's no water coming out and Calvin's visibly upset and I'm kind of disappointed too. I have the difference between here and here that drives the pressure from the water going from the bucket out of the hose and through the faucet. So this faucet was designed to go in a kitchen sink where you have access to normal water supply that would go into your house. That water supply is at pretty high pressure. There's a couple of extra valves and hoses on the inside of this that constrict the flow of the water. Those constrictions really matter because we don't have as much pressure as what comes into your house. The first thing I'll do is try to raise the bucket up in the air and see if that increase in pressure will make it work. Oh, I can see some droplets coming out. What we did have enough water pressure for was letting water just trickle right out of the hose. Plenty of pressure for Calvin's hose to work if the faucet is not in the way. But I still need a way to turn the flow on and off. <laughs> or maybe Calvin could just put his finger in it to stop it. Instead of the faucet, I'm making a structure to support the hose by itself, and then we'll figure out how to turn the water on and off. Sink off. Sink off. Can you turn the sink on? Sink on. Now the sink is on. Calvin had no problem starting and stopping the flow with his yeah. finger, which gave us an idea. Oh, yeah. Can you try putting that in the hole? Yeah. Oosh. <laughs> 
You did it! The sink is off! Sink off! Can you turn the sink on? Yeah! Now you can wash your hands. Now we don't want this water to go to waste. We'll let it drain into the water can so we can water the plants. I put a little tiny screw into the end of the plug. I've tied a piece of fishing line to the screw to make a tether. This way I can attach it to the sink. He can use it and it won't get lost. Push. Push, push. Good job, buddy. The sink is off. And your hands are clean. Look cleaner than they were. What I've done is repurposed a little reusable lid for leftovers for food and used that to plug the bottom of the sink. This way we can float the sink with water and Calvin can play. It's fun and awesome to use a little bit of creativity to use fewer resources to build something new, useful, and fun.